Okay, so I slid the lid back off of my case in order to use my drivers to test the uh, new Lowrider 3 side assemblies. And when I did, this cable that connects the main board to the touchscreen, this cable at the point where it connects onto the main board had one of its wires break loose from the connector. So I had to snip the old connector off. You can see the wire that's missing when I cut it. The wire that's missing there is the one that broke loose. But thankfully I was able to use my Clark's uh, kit, which has these things that you need to put back on and all of these to choose from. And I was able to switch from a set of four and a single one by itself to using a full five bay unit. And I really want to uh, say that my iWIS, I'm not sure how you say that, but it's the, it's the model IWS3220M. This thing is really great and wiring is just such a pain. And in particular, that kind of wiring right there is a pain. But I love the instructions that the iWIS gives. It tells you how to figure out whether or not the one that you're using is too narrow, good, or too wide. And just uh, that in conjunction with a teaching tech video uh, on how to do this crimping has really helped me to make this go from just unbelievably frustrating like playing golf and being really bad at playing golf where golf is just self-torture that's kind of how this kind of crimping for wiring used to be and now i can get it done uh, fairly quickly without tons of having to clip it off and retry again and so i just wanted to give a shout out i'll put links in the description but uh she's back up and functioning my first low rider three that is is back up and functioning and uh, I'm just really glad to be able to do this kind of crimping without pulling my hair out. Hi, this is Doug Joseph with Design 8 Studio. If you like our content, please click like and subscribe. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And until the next video, I wish you happy making.